Oh, hello friends! Today we're going to be talking about Painted Lady Larva Stage, better known as the Caterpillar, which is an insect. And today we're going to be entomologists. Entomologists study insects. I'm going to help you draw a caterpillar really quick. You can pause this video throughout if you need to slow it down. So we're going to start with kind of a large half U here. And then we're going to make two circles, two half U's kind of going down. And then a few circles going over, a few more going this way. And then one last big one here. Next, we're going to draw some lines that are going down. I believe it will be about eight lines. It's okay if these different lines and different sections are bigger because when caterpillars move, they're not all going to be the exact same. Each section is going to be a little different. I'm going to draw this. Then we're going to start here. We're going to draw a line down that almost connects here, but not quite. And then another line that goes down, almost connects, but not quite. And finally, a line that goes over and actually does connect there. And then we're going to draw this part here, which is gonna be the head. We have to finish connecting the caterpillar here before we start talking about anything else. So we're gonna draw a little use. So there's three parts to our caterpillar. We have the head. This next three parts, one, two, and three right here. Uh, here from here to here, we have the thorax. And then from the thorax all the way over, we have the abdomen. We have the head, can you say the thorax, and can you say the abdomen? I have a funny little thing. You know that song that's called Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes, Knees, and Toes? I have another song to that. It's called Head, Thorax, Abdomen, Abdomen. Can you do that with me? Head, Thorax, Abdomen, Abdomen. It's kind of catchy. We're going to talk about the head first. And right here, we're going to have these things on the head, and these are called simple eyes. Simple eyes. This allows that caterpillar to be able to see things. Next, just below the eyes, we have a thing called the mandible. Oh, I love the word mandible. I like how it rolls off the tongue. A mandible is actually the jaw of that caterpillar. So that could probably help it eat and so forth. And then finally, below the jaw, we have this thing called a spinneret. Spinneret. If you guessed it, a spinneret is going to help it spin silk. Silk. And it's able to put silk out to give it protection from something, or it can also help them hang from a tree branch. Kind of very similar to the way these guys are hanging at the top of this jar right now. They use their spinnerets to put silk up there. Very interesting. Next, we're going to talk about the thorax. In the thorax, we have three legs at the thorax. And they have joints, very similar to the joints in your fingers. See how I'm moving all these? These are all these joints in here. So we're going to create the joints on the true legs. So we have a joint here, another joint, another joint. It's kind of pointed there at the end. Another joint, another joint, and this little point. Another joint, another joint, down here. 
So these three parts in this next section, the thorax, is called true legs. And the true legs don't really help the caterpillar during the larva stage, but it really helps the butter the butterfly. So after the caterpillar becomes the butterfly, these are the same legs that that, that butterfly is going to be using. Very interesting. And finally, we have the abdomen. And the abdomen has legs as well. And their leg and its legs kind of go from about right here over here. And their legs, we're going to show you kind of like a little U here. A little U shaped. A little U shaped. And then we're going to put another little U at the bottom there. And that's actually a little barb. Little tiny barb there at the end. That barb is called a crochet. And these little barbs, these little crochets, kind of act like Velcro. It allows the caterpillar to walk and stick to things. And kind of like the, cro the, the Velcro here. See how that Velcro is working? Yeah, like this is the caterpillar and it can stick on stuff. Very, very useful. So these three little barbs and all of this, these are called another type of leg. They're called prolegs. And finally, we have a little line that kind of goes across the caterpillar. And above this line, we have these little, kind of, they kind of look like little ovals. And these are called spiracles. Does anyone know what a spiracle might be used for? Hmm. Well, these spiracles, I'm going to put that right here, a spiracle is to actually help the caterpillar breathe. This allows it to breathe, which is very important to stay alive. All right, we have another important thing to talk about. And that's called a habitat. The habitat of this painted lady larva or the caterpillar. The habitat, they actually live on all continents, but two. Two continents they don't live on. So all continents, except You know what the, those are? Mm, it's cold in here. Antarctica, except Antarctica, and Australia, the home of the kangaroo. So they don't live there, and they they live in meadows. And fields. Interesting. So that field might have, you know, some flat area, some grass where they can crawl around on using those barbs for sticking. They might have some flowers. They definitely need some sort of flowers to be able to eat. They have some shrubbery. And they might even have some trees in those fields. And meadows. The next thing we need to talk about is food and diet. Food and diet. What are these painted lady larvae and caterpillar? What do they like to eat? So the first thing is that they are herbivores. Herbivores. And that means that they really like to, they like to eat plants. There's a few plants that the painted lady larva really likes to eat. And one of those plants is called the thistle. 
Can you say that with me? Thistle. And this thistle has very pointy leaves. Very pointy leaves. It's, ah, man, it's so pointy, it got me. So it has pretty pointy leaves. You don't wanna be touching these type of leaves. And the flower is quite pretty. It's a pretty flower, but it also has very pointy parts to it that you don't want to get too close to. The other flower or plant that they really like is the mallow. Mallow. Can you say that? Mallow. And the mallow, they have big leaves. They have like these big old leaves, big old leaves. And then they have these little white flowers that are kind of in the middle and they're very small. So these small white flowers and these big old leaves. And the final flower that they really like is the holly dock. The holly hock. That's kind of a fun word to say. Can you say that with me? Holly hock. Very fun. This is, these, these have really long stems. And then they have flowers all along these stems, which makes it pretty fun. So we have all these flowers and these really long stems. Those are the three types of food that these caterpillars cannot live without. All right, we have interesting facts for our final thing. Oh, it's there already, that's magic. Interesting facts about the painted lady larva or the caterpillar. So one interesting fact is it molts. It molts four times. And when it molts, it sheds off its skin. And I have some tight skin here that I need to molt off. So I'm going to kind of wiggle off and it kind of goes off and it goes behind the caterpillar when it molts. And now I gotta molt this skin too. But what I want you guys to do is stand up really quick. Stand up, even you, stand up. And we're going to molt one time by wiggling. We're gonna do some wiggling. Everyone stand up and do some wiggling. And it's wiggling, wiggling. Uh, yeah. Whew. I got that, that skin off. I molted a second time. Very interesting. All right. The second thing that it does for an interesting fact is it has one job. One job. Does anyone know what that job is? It's one job is to eat. It has to eat and eat and eat to get ready for that next stage. Oh, sorry. I thought we were doing some eating. All right. The final interesting fact is a caterpillar produces a lot of frass. Can you say that with me? Frass. So what this frass is, is kind of interesting as well. And it is something that they produce. And I'm gonna tell you what it is, but you can't say, ew, gross. No, you gotta say, oh man, dude, that is so scientific. I love it. Prats is caterpillar poop. Oh, you can't overreact. This is so scientific, man. So those are interesting facts. So we learned about the characteristics of this painted lady larva, better known as the caterpillar. We learned about the habitat. We learned about food and diet, what it likes to eat. And we finally learned about interesting facts. So that pretty much sums up today. And hopefully you learned how to draw a more realistic type of caterpillar as well. Well, that's all for today. I'll see you later, entomologists. I can't wait to see you again. Have a great day.